Hey, what is up, guys? Mike Myers back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to start making overlays on stream elements and show you guys how to start elevating your stream from looking like this to this. All right, let's get straight into it. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm a so you guys want to start adding alerts, overlays, and different types of features to your stream. First, what you want to do is make sure you go to uh, streamelements.com. I'm going to put a link in the description where you guys could be able to download this. And you want to log into your Twitch account or uh, YouTube account. Then from there, you go into your little logo at top, on the top uh, and click download uh, Stream Elements Live. All right, once we go into OBS, it's going to be a tab called Stream Elements, and this is what was added uh, through your download. So if we go back to Elements, uh, we'll be able to start looking at the different types of status and features in stream elements. So there's dashboard, active feeds, revenue history, and other features that you're able to add through this. So now uh, going into the overlays, they have different types of default overlays that you're able to add. And these are all free, most of them, unless you go to the pro version and there's a lot more abilities and different types of overlays that you can add very easily into your stream so moving on to the my overlays we're going to be able to create our own overlays that i've shown you before so it's not it's pretty simple to do if you go into my overlays and to do overlays uh yes we want to do 1080p i'm going to name this um live stream and now we can start adding some widgets. So on this canvas, uh, there's a lot you can do. So if we wanted to start adding some camera overlays, uh, I'm going to drop uh, some camera overlays link in the description where you, you guys could be able to download these simple animated overlays, which are pretty nice. So if you want to add a camera overlay, if we go into custom video, and we bring this down and we go into change video and if you guys want to download these overlays I'll show you guys how to do them so if you go into one of them you click download while it's downloading uh, you can simply just go back into Streamlabs and just drop this in there and now you have it see how simple it is and you click it and now you have your camera overlay. So now if you wanted to add a background for your Twitch follows or your Twitch subs, you can simply just copy this, go to duplicate the, this overlay and change the video to uh, the background that you have selected or any type of background that you, that you like. So I'm gonna choose this one. And you can just simply scale it to any size you want. Drop it right here. And now we're going to have that as our background. So now we simply just add the sub, the sub count. We go into total subs. And now we have our text here. So if you wanted to add that text to make it look a little different, you can delete that. Go to slash, let's say 10. 10 is your goal for your subs. You wanted to add, let's say, an image with the last person that su subscribed to your channel. You go into images. Select image. I'm going to add this crap. So I'm going to scale it down. Put it right here. Then I'm going to go into label, subscriber, latest. And then go into latest subscriber. Then I'm going to delete. Uh, latest subscriber so we just have the name of it and then just put it simply right next to it and if you wanted to change the font 
of the text, you simply could just uh, click on it, go into text settings, and then it gives you a bunch of options of what you can do with it. You can bold it, italicize it, underline it, make it capital, lowercase. Uh, so there's a lot of different settings, make the text bigger. But I'm gonna keep the text at 24, so it looks the same throughout. As for the text font, uh, keeping it at uh, either Arial or Righteousness is one of my top favorites. So now guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make a logo and some symbols on top of your overlay. So what you first want to do is if you copy this image to this overlay and then change the picture to the logo that you want to put, I'm going to put a Twitch logo. And add that to the top right. And then, you know, we could copy this a couple more times into, into four different logos. Then add different types of images. I'm going to quickly just uh, skip through these to show you how it's going to look like. And so this is what it looks like. I just added the text to be a little bit different and then just added the other logos and now i'm going to show you guys how to start adding little alerts to your overlay so if you go into alerts add a box a bunch of different uh settings for these so there's hello follow alerts sub alerts tip alerts uh cheer alerts if you go into settings uh you can actually change of what the alerts the alerts look like so if i added this twerking donut into it and i click the the sound of that alert it's gonna pop up as that's eh, working donut you know and you you could just simply change that if you wanted to add a sound you could do that um and change the sound of it and now when i go into follows and it kind of shows up like that which is nice and if you wanted to also add a media request and where people are able to request uh, different types of videos and songs into your stream, you can simply just put it down here. And when people play the sub requests, it will show up right here. Add a stream chat as well. If you go into Skip, skip, skip. If you go into stream tools, and go just click on that, and you can make this uh, background transparent. So if you go to custom on your your chat types, uh, the messages are gonna pop through here, and you could customize these to maybe fade out a little bit, um, or earlier than when you want. And it's cool. You can play around with uh, however you want the text to look like. All right. So now that you guys have your overlay set up, I'm going to show you guys how to put it into OBS. All right. So you copy the URL from here from Stream Elements. Then in OBS, you have to create a source. And the source is going to be browser. And from there, you click OK. Then from width, you go 1920. And then the height, you go uh, 1080. And then on the URL, make sure you paste that in. That link that you just copied. Paste that in there. Give it a second. Make sure that you add also the display capture that you want to capture. Uh, make sure it's in the right screen. And then, again, this works in layers. So make sure that your, your overlay is under your capture. And then from there, and if you want to add a webcam, you can simply by go in here, add, add a video capture, paste that there, scale it down, and then under the under the browser's source, uh, there should be your camera. You should be good to go to start streaming. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this video. Uh, if you guys want to see more, uh, let me know down in the comments. 
Um, and also, if you could hit that like and subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. And that's it for me. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.